Well, good morning and welcome everyone. Thank you for coming today to this important event. This administration remains committed to serving all students, especially the most vulnerable. As we've seen in states around the country, these students particularly benefit from school choice programs. This week is National Charter Schools Week, and right now there are more than 6,900 charter schools in the United States serving more than 3 million students. Of course, there are millions more families on waiting lists for charter schools, hoping their child will be able to attend one. Parents want their children to have the option to, t to attend these schools and others that fit their individual needs for the simple reason that they're not satisfied with their current school and they believe access to options can give their child a better opportunity to learn and thrive. I believe this should be a right for every parent, not a privilege. We shouldn't restrict parents' choices based strictly on a family's income or zip code. We have some great witnesses to the power of parental choice here today. Secretary, By shining. That, well, I'd, I'd like you Ladies to say that. Well, I, was, I found it so interesting. I've been listening for two minutes here. You're doing a good job. She's doing a great job, right? Would you like to finish up? I want you to, I want oh, go you to ahead. go ahead, Thank please. You, Thank you. This is very exciting. So yesterday I said that our spending bill was a win for the American people, which is exactly what it was, an amazing day. And this is what winning for young children and kids from all over the country looks like. The Opportunity Scholarship Program that we're funding allows families in the inner city of our nation's capital to leave failing public schools and attend a private school making an extraordinary difference in these incredible young lives. You are so lucky. Huh? Great. You happy about it? Huh? So great. That's great. The results speak for themselves. 98 percent of scholarship recipients represent their high school diplomas, and uh, they're really very, very special. They go into tremendous successes. So I think you're going to all be very, very successful. You have a big start, right? Great start. This is a beautiful event, and I'm thrilled to be here. I congratulate the families and the audience. The families are very proud of the children. Are you all proud of your children, I hope? Uh, anybody not proud? They're very proud of you. During my campaign for president, I promised to fight for school choice. Very important. It was featured in my joint address to Congress, and today I'm calling on all lawmakers to work with us to help extend school choice to millions more children all across the United States of America, including millions of low-income Hispanic and African-American children who deserve the same chance as every other child in America to live out their dreams and fill up their hearts and be educated at the top, top level. Good. Every child has the right to fulfill their potential. And if we do our jobs, then we will never have to tell young, striving Americans to defer their dreams for another day or for another decade. We're not going to do that. I'm honored to be here. I'm so proud to be with these wonderful families and wonderful children. And I'm deeply excited for the amazing things that lie ahead for these truly inspiring young Americans right here in Washington, D.C., our capital. And I will say that I'm very, very proud of all of you. You know, I wasn't supposed to be here. It wasn't on my schedule. When I heard what was going on with Betsy, who's doing such a great job, I said, well, I'll come in and I'll interrupt Betsy. Maybe I'll be allowed to say a few words. <laughs> but she's a great woman and doing a fantastic job. Congratulations to all of you, okay, and to your families. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations.
going to, I have the opportunity <laughs> of introducing this young lady, Saganish Tadele, who is a recipient of a Parental Choice Program and who has done so much in her years in high school to help share this with other students, but she's going to tell a bit about her story right now. Thank you, Secretary DeVos, Mr. Vice President, and Mr. President. I'm honored to be here. My name is Saganish Tadella. I'm a senior at Georgetown Visitation. I was born and raised in Washington, D.C. 20 years ago, both of my parents emigrated to the U.S. from Ethiopia. As a first-generation college-bound student, I have earned the opportunity to fulfill my dreams and the dreams of my parents as well. Without the Opportunity Scholarship Program in place for me and others like me, I would not have been able to move forward and pursue the academic dreams. This fall, I will be attending American University to study international relations and public policy. I will always take with me the attitude to achieve and to succeed. Through our school community's outreach program, Saturday School, I'm able to inspire and encourage young seventh grade girls to be the best possible versions of themselves. Because of the quality education that I receive at Visitation, I'm able to mentor seventh grade girls in the Washington metropolitan area. Having obtained a strong education from an all-girls school, I feel strongly about the endless possibilities that young women can achieve given the opportunity to have an education. Whether or not one decides to attend a traditional public or private school, I believe that each and every student deserves the chance to obtain an education that best meets their needs. I would like to thank all those who make the program possible and hope that the program will continue to serve more and more students to come. Thank you. At this time, I'm very pleased and honored to introduce the Vice President of the United States. <laughs> Well, on behalf of the first family, it was going to be my privilege to welcome you to the White House today. <laughs> but then the president decided, when he heard you were across the hallway, he decided to come by and say hello, just to tell you all how proud he is of you, how proud he is of your parents, and how proud we are to continue the D.C. Scholarship Program. <laughs> And we're so grateful, we're so grateful to have someone who has been so dedicated to opening doors of opportunities for American children and families all across this country for so many years as the Secretary of Education. Would you join me in thanking Betsy DeVos for her wonderful, wonderful leadership? Secretary DeVos is fighting every day to give America's children the world-class education that every American child deserves. And on behalf of the President and families across America, Betsy, we thank you. And we thank you. Today is just an early installment of the impact that you're having uh, on expanding educational opportunities for all of our children. And to uh, Saganish Tadella, wow, what an impressive young lady. Give her another round of applause, will you please? She actually rewrote a little of her speech right at the very beginning. <laughs> she added greetings to the secretary, to the vice president, and to the president, which I thought was very impressive on, <laughs> on your feet. And you. uh, congratulations on all your great success. You really are. You really are uh, a, a, a wonderful example of why President Trump is fighting so hard uh, to expand educational opportunities for all of our families in the country. And we thank you for being here. To all the advocates, to the administrators, especially to the parents who are here, the parents of these wonderful, beautiful children who are gathered here, to all the great teachers who are here, welcome to the White House. You are making a difference each and every day in the lives of all these wonderful kids. Give yourselves a round of applause. We have here leaders and students from K through five grade school, from middle school and high school, from three private, one charter school, and one public school. 
and we're proud to have all of you kids here. St. Anthony's Catholic School, Georgetown Visitation, Basis DC Charter, just to name a few. And all the way from Indianapolis, Indiana, we have Thomas Carr Howe Community High School. Let's welcome all these great kids in these great schools. So well represented here today. Uh -huh. nice. And all the adults here, thank you for caring so much. Thank you for caring so much about your children and every student's education. Thank you for the late nights, for the early mornings. Thank you for the everyday acts of love and sacrifice you make on behalf of these kids, giving them, uh, giving them the best shot in life and the best future for them. And lastly, you heard the president say today, that, again, that he was, he's proud of you. He's really proud of you, and so am I. You are America's future. If you keep at it, you keep learning, you keep striving, you keep believing in your dreams, don't ever let anybody tell you you can't, then you will. You'll live out your dreams. And thank you for believing in your dreams and working so hard at all of your classwork today. Give these kids another round of applause. <laughs> now, now, we're here today because this week Congress is poised to pass legislation and President Trump will sign into law a spending bill that will give new life and funding to the D.C. Opportunity Scholarship Program, which is the only federally funded voucher program in the country. It's a case study in school choice success. This spending bill will extend the Opportunity Scholarship for three years, funds it at $45 million for the rest of the year. It is a victory for families and students throughout the District of Columbia. Since its creation in 2004, the Opportunity Scholarship Program has given parents and families hope by giving them a pathway to take their children uh, out of uh, schools that too often are failing to meet the needs of children here in our nation's capital. Give them a chance that other families have to put their children into a private school. And over the past 13 years, the results have been impressive. Nearly 20,000 students have applied for the program, 7,500 students have been accepted, and more than 1,150 children are participating in the DC Opportunity Scholarship Program at this very moment. While only 69% of DC's public school students graduated from high school last year, 98% of D.C. scholarship students walked across the stage and received a diploma last year. 98%. And get this, 86% of those kids were accepted into college to continue their education and climb the ladder of success. President Trump could not be more proud to extend this crucial program, and, but his commitment to school choice doesn't end there. I have to tell you that this is a president that truly does believe that parents in America ought to be able to choose where their children go to school regardless of their income or their area code. And in the days ahead, we're going to continue to work each and every day to give every family in America the opportunity to choose the school that's best for them. So with thanks again uh, to uh, our Secretary of Education uh, for bringing us to this moment. Uh, with thanks to all of you for all the hard work that you're putting into all of your schoolwork today. On behalf of the President of the United States of America, we say keep dreaming, keep striving, and I have a feeling we're going to see one of these kids back at the White House. <laughs> thanks, everybody, and God bless you. Hearts and be educated at the top, top level. Good. Every child has the right to fulfill their potential. And if we do our jobs, then we will never have to tell young, striving Americans to defer their dreams for another day or for another decade. We're not going to do that. I'm honored to be here. I'm so proud to be with these wonderful families and wonderful children. And I'm deeply excited for the amazing things that lie ahead for these truly inspiring young Americans right here in Washington, D.C., our capital. And I will say that I'm very, very proud of all of you. You know, I wasn't supposed to be here. It wasn't on my schedule. When I heard what was going on with Betsy, who's doing such a great job, I said, well, I'll come in and I'll interrupt Betsy. Maybe I'll be allowed to say a few words. 
but she's a great woman and doing a fantastic job. Congratulations to all of you, okay, and to your families. Congratulations, everybody. By shining. Oh, I'd, I'd like you to say that. I was. I found it so interesting. She's doing a great job, right? Would you like Thank to you. finish up? I want you to. I want I'll you go to go ahead, ahead Thank please. You, Thank you. This is very exciting. So yesterday I said that our spending bill was a win for the American people, which is exactly what it was. An amazing day. And this is what winning for young children and kids from all over the country looks like. The Opportunity Scholarship Program that we're funding allows families in the inner city of our nation's capital to leave failing public schools and attend a private school, making an extraordinary difference in these incredible young lives. You are so lucky. Huh? Great. You happy about it? Huh? So great. Well, good morning and welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming today to this important event. This administration remains committed to serving all students, especially the most, most vulnerable. As we've seen in states around the country, these students particularly benefit from school choice programs. This week is National Charter Schools Week, and right now there are more than 6,900 charter schools in the United States serving more than 3 million students. Of course, there are millions more families on waiting lists for charter schools, hoping their child will be able to attend one. Parents want their children to have the option to, t to attend these schools and others that fit their individual needs for the simple reason that they're not satisfied with their current school, and they believe access to options can give their child a better opportunity to learn and thrive. I believe this should be a right for every parent, not a privilege. We shouldn't restrict parents' choices based strictly on a family's income or zip code. We have some great witnesses to the power of parental choice here today. That's good. The results speak for themselves. 98% of scholarship recipients represent their high school diplomas, and uh, they're really very, very special. They go into tremendous successes. So I think you're going to all be very, very successful. You have a big start, right? Great start. This is a beautiful event, and I'm thrilled to be here. I congratulate the families and the audience. The families are very proud of the children. Are you all proud of your children, I hope? Uh, anybody not proud? They're very proud of you. During my campaign for president, I promised to fight for school choice. Very important. It was featured in my joint address to Congress, and today I'm calling on all lawmakers to work with us to help extend school choice to millions more children all across the United States of America, including millions of low-income Hispanic and African-American children who deserve the same chance as every other child in America to live out their dreams and fill up their hope. Congratulations. Thank you. 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 Thank to help share this with other students, but she's going to tell a bit about her story right now. Thank you, Secretary DeVos, Mr. Vice President, and Mr. President. I'm honored to be here. My name is Saganish Tadella. I'm a senior at Georgetown Visitation. I was born and raised in Washington, D.C. 20 years ago, both of my parents emigrated to the U.S. from Ethiopia. As a first-generation college-bound student, I've earned the opportunity to fulfill my dreams and the dreams of my parents as well. 